Hey, what's up guys? Tony here and welcome to another episode of Tuesdays with Tony. And in this episode, I want to talk about my parents moving. And for I think a lot of you guys, that's going to be sort of a, a new topic to discuss or even think about because uh, I know for myself, uh, it's something that I never thought that I would actually discuss. But um, also before I get into that, um, the gameplay that you're watching is some Far Cry 3 and I kind of thought it'd be nice to show something besides, you know, Aftermath or besides Black Ops 2 because... Um, Aftermath, I think, is going to get played out real fast just because of the fact that everyone, like, even when we play, like, on Friday nights, it's like, Aftermath, Aftermath, Aftermath. I'm like, okay, um, let's play something else, you know? And then Black Ops is just, for me, it, you know, I like the game well enough to keep it, but I only do well on certain maps, so I don't want to keep showing you the boat map over and over and over again. That's, like, the only map that I can seem to do well on. I don't know what it is, but... I thought that some Far Cry 3 would be a nice change of pace. And so for some of you guys who might be on the fence about picking up Far Cry, um, pick it up. If you got the extra money, go ahead and pick it up. It's a fantastic game. Like the, the campaign alone is pretty epic. Um, I have a hard time with these open world first person shooters like Borderlands, Skyrim I really couldn't get into. This game, I think it's a great blend for the person with ADD who just is like, Okay, there's so much stuff to do. I don't know how to do it. You know, the, the learning curve's not very steep. So if you don't have it and you're kind of interested in it, here's the little multiplayer for you. The multiplayer for this game uh, is um, there's not a lot of people playing it. Let's just go ahead and put it that way. So uh, I'll probably end up doing a review on it later on, sort of my impressions on on um, the entire game as a whole, and probably talk about the multiplayer component later on after finals. Um, this week is my finals week. I had my, my Greek history final today. Um, it, it actually went well. Uh, we had uh, the professor, the way he does the midterms, and I've had this professor three times now, um, he gives you two questions to write about. Uh, you can pick one. Uh, but today he gave us three. It was like a, it was a Christmas. It was like Christmas. Holy crap. He gives three. So we either had to discuss, you know, like how Athens went from being a monarchy to a democracy. Um uh, talk about Herodotus and, and sort of uh, his the idea of him being the first historian and you know was he truly objective in his approach uh, or is he clearly biased? Um, the last one, the one that I liked the best, and I think the majority of my peers wrote about was uh, the Persian Wars. Like, give five examples um, about how and why the Greeks were able to defeat the Persians in the first and second Persian Wars. So. That's the one I wrote about. I thought that one was the most interesting. Uh, and it was the most current. That was the question that out of all the topics, because we pretty much, we ended on the first and second Persian Wars the last month or so of the class. That's a, actually, maybe it's like three weeks at most. We spent that last uh, three weeks spending them um, on the first and second Persian war. So for a lot of us, that was like the most current information that we had. So um, for me, it was the easiest one to do because uh, Athens, it's like the history of, of how they got to a democracy was so, so long. There's so many names and there were so many things that happened. Um, I just couldn't keep it straight. You know, to condense it down into an essay that you're trying to write on the fly, like, oh yeah, what was that guy's name? I can't remember. What was the name of the council? Uh, you know, stuff like that, you know? Uh, I, so I, <laughs> anyways, I skipped that. So anyways, let's get to the topic at hand. Uh, my parents moving, um, so here's a backstory to that. My, my parents have been talking about wanting to move, uh, out of California for the last, I say about the last year. At first they wanted to move to Florida cause my, my grandparents on my father's side, they live in Florida. They, they kind of live in Florida and Ohio. Uh, it's really crazy. They, they like live one part of the year in Ohio, like during the summer. And then during the winters they live in Florida. So they're doing this like two house thing. And then I think they eventually decide to move back to Ohio. Uh, and the thing is, is that my dad is from Ohio, you know, so he, he was in the Marine Corps. So I brought him out to California and he met my mom, bada bing, bada boom, there's kids and he's living out here in, in California for the most of his life. Um, at least the last 30 years or so. Um, now my mom, first generation Californian, me, my brothers, second generation Californian. So, uh, for us to think about my, our mom, you know, fellow Californian moving to an area where it snows, we're kind of like, um, mom, you sure about that? Because this is pretty much a damn good place to live because, you know, it doesn't get too hot, doesn't get too cold. Um, we kind of live in the Goldilocks zone here for uh, weather and we got a nice coast. You know, the Pacific Ocean is out here to our west and it provides us with a nice 
temperate blanket. It keeps the temperatures nice and even, not too hot, not too cold. Uh, so the idea that my parents just up and left, it's just, yeah, it's kind of, it's weird because um, the way I look at it, uh, and the way I've sort of rationalized this in my head is that when when you're a younger guy like myself, you know, you move out of your parents' house, you know, you leave the nest. And uh, my brothers and I, we we haven't lived with our parents in a very long time, and uh, so my parents have been living on their own, you know, without us. And we'd come visit, and you know, birthdays and 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 Thanksgivings and Christmases and 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 barbecues and just get-togethers and just come over and visit and shoot the shit with the parents. And uh, so when you also, you know, the, the other part of that is, so just to speak in a general sense, you know, if you were to say leave for college or whatever, you go to wherever you're going to college, maybe you go to a state, maybe you go out a city, maybe you are in the same city, I don't know. But uh, if you're not living with your parents, you come back to your parents' house and, and you know, like, oh, you go back to your room and all this stuff's in the same spot and it's collected dust and you're just kind of like, oh, it's gross. Um, but you're, you know, you're, you're back at your parents' house. Well, now I'm in the situation where if I go to visit my parents, I'm going to a whole new city that I've never been. Uh, I'm going to hang out with people that I don't really know. I mean, these are cousins, aunts and uncles that I have that I've seen pictures of like on Facebook, uh, but I don't really know them. So it's, it's kind of strange for me. Um, I've never really had to deal with that. And I, I, maybe there's some people who, you know, some subscribers or viewers who come across this video who are, um, within a, like maybe like a divorced family, you know, and you got a one father or parent lives in one part of the country and mother lives in another part of the country. And so they kind of have this like back and forth, you know, and, they, and they're kind of used to this traveling. Uh, for me though, it's really strange. You know, I, I've always been sort of, a family has always been here in California. You know, I haven't really had to deal much with traveling outside of the state to view, uh, view, <laughs> to see other family members. Um, so it's going to be interesting from here on out. I mean, they, they left because of the fact that, you know, California is terribly expensive to live in. And both my parents are, they, they've got the retirement. You know, my father was in the Marine Corps for 20 years. My mom was, uh, worked for the County of San Diego for 18 ish years. And so they're collecting their retirements and my dad still works part time and uh, they they want to maximize what they got out of their retirement and, and living here in California. It's terribly expensive. Uh, so I can understand. I can see the justification for leaving the state. The thing, though, is it's just like, man, that it's just weird. I don't know. For, for, for me, it's, just, it's really weird. I'm still trying to get my head wrapped around it. And I mean, they've only been gone for... Uh, almost a week now. Um, I called them on Sunday. Yeah, it was Sunday afternoon. I called them and they had just pulled into Ohio. And so, or at least to the house that they're living in now. Um, so it, it's, it's so fresh and it's so new. So maybe it'll get, uh, you know, get used to it over time. I already know my mom's like, Hey, you guys have to come visit, you know? I was like, okay, we'll, we'll see. You know, it's like, you guys don't live next door anymore. Uh, it's going to be kind of tough, but Anyways, I'm just kind of finding it, uh, it uh, strange, you know, and, and it's more, it's more strange because I'll be honest, like my, my family, the way it is, is, is that, uh, you know, my parents were sort of the, obviously the, the foundation, your parents, all, all parents are foundation to the, the family, of course. So when they up and leave, um, there's a sense that for me, there's a sense that the safety net is gone. So if I were to just like fall flat on my face, um, I could call my mom and dad and be like, Hey guys, you know, I'm in a bind. Can I come crash at your place? Sleep in my old bedroom for a while, you know, until I get back on my feet. And you know, your parents would be like, yeah, of course. Yeah, sure. Uh, now I, if I'm like floundering in life, you know, then I, I got nowhere to go. I would have to call my brother and be like, yo, can I crash on your couch for a bit? You know, or, um, you know, I don't know what to do, what else to do. And so it's, uh, it's providing me with, um, not not anxiety at all it's not anxiety but it's just a certain level of uh i guess free fall is a good way to put it you know because because i'm sort of in this limbo period right now i'm like oh my gosh you know and it kind of to be honest like I'm, i haven't really thinking about it because like i said i'm a californian man I, i've only lived in this area that has this this range of temperature from like 95 degrees at the hottest to 
like somewhere in the 30s at the lowest, you know. Um, I've never lived in places where it's just totally cold and snows all the damn time, and it's just you know I, I'm so used to being here. This is this is my existence. So you know, in my head, I'm I'm sitting here going, could I live in Ohio? Could I live in these other parts of the country? And the more I think about, the less like that that possibility. It's just like no way, man. I am a Californian, you know. I see stuff like dude and rad and bodacious, you know, and all those other cliches of Californians, and you know, um, it just be so weird. But um, anyways, guys, I'm running over, and I thought, like I said, it, it's something that's sort of relevant to me, and uh, it's just weird. So if you guys have had any sort of situations where you've had parents move out of the area, um, let me know, because I'm kind of interested to see how this thing pans out, just because it's so weird, the idea that they've, they're they gone. They're not in the same state anymore. They're not, even, they're not even in the same time zone. It's really strange. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, and I'll talk to you guys later.